Hey everyone, and welcome to the Hemp Horticulture Series. Today, we'll be showing you how to low stress train your plants. Low stress training is utilizing any means to choose the growth direction of your plants without damaging it. Typically, this is done with things such as string, wires, sticks, but basically anything can be used as long as you're not damaging the plant stems in any way. This works because new stem growth is soft and flexible, allowing for them to be manipulated early on before it grows thicker and more firm. So the idea is by training the plant early on in the life cycle, as it grows older, trained growth will start to get firmer and then lock in place where you want it to be. And when the old growth is locked in, you can continue to use low stress training on the new growth again to repeat the process and train your plants to grow in whatever shape and direction you want. This makes it easy to fill up any grow space as low stress training allows the plant to grow larger horizontally instead of just vertically when grown naturally. Along with topping, these two training techniques should be the first ones that a new grower learns because of their ease of use and wide application, especially when both techniques are used together. Since the new growth from a top plant are diagonal and flexible, you can easily use things such as plant ties, zip ties, a trellis net, or anything else to physically hold down the two new stems and limit its height without damaging the stem. This is what low stress training is about. And while one use of low stress training is to be combined with topping for a nice symmetrical plant, low stress training doesn't have to stop there and can also easily be used as the only tool needed to lower a plant's height while creating multiple stems for maximizing yield. This is because by just forcing the main stem to grow diagonally instead of straight up, every side stem that grows will have time to catch up to the main stem's height, therefore naturally creating multiple top stems. This can be done manually with just a few plant ties to hold down the top stem and any other side stems that start to grow taller than the top stem. And you can even do this automatically with a trellis net by constantly pushing any new growth that grows above the net under it. So an example of how this works is to make sure you hook one end of the plant tie onto the main stem, like so and then the other end of the plant tie to an anchor such as a pot handle, the side of your grow tent, or basically anything that will hold it down in place. Be sure that whatever you use to hold down the stems is soft, so when the stem continues to grow larger, they won't get damaged. And also make sure you're not restricting the stem's growth by wrapping the ties too tightly around the stem. Also note that this only works with newer growth. So if you want to utilize low stress training, you'll need to start early. Once the stems are well established and firm, you won't be able to manipulate them anymore. Now for how to use a trellis net. This is just another form of low stress training, except instead of having it tie down each individual stem manually to maintain an even canopy, you'll be able to get the same effect by constantly pushing down the new growth below the net lines. And while this looks daunting to do, these are actually really easy to set up as they're sold pre-made and all you need to do is to tie them to something. For example, with grow tents, you can just cut it to the size of your grow tent and then tie the four corners to each grow tent pole. Then whenever the top stem or side stem grows above the net, you can just push the new growth under the net constantly until there are enough stems to cover the grow space before switching to the flowering stage. Finally, don't forget that while you can utilize low stress training throughout the entire plant's life cycle, you can only top a plant in the vegetative stage because outside of the final stretch, the plant will stop all new growth in the flowering stage to focus on producing buds. So your plant won't be able to recover from topping when it's in the flowering stage. <laughs>